Despite its popularity, coffee has received some bitter reviews. Norwegian scientists say coffee is bad for the heart. But in 2015, the USDA said coffee can be part of a healthy diet. And few people would agree more than Dr. Sanjeev Chopra. If we have coffee, we'll probably live longer. Sure, he's a professor of medicine at Harvard and a hepatologist, a specialist in liver disorders. But it was a study two decades ago that suggested coffee drinkers experienced better liver health that perked up his curiosity. Next study comes out, it says people who drink coffee, two cups, regular coffee, 50% reduction in hospitalization and mortality from chronic liver disease. Chronic liver disease afflicts like 1.5 billion people in the world. In the next study, people who drink coffee, two cups, 40% reduction in death from primary liver cancer. In his new book, Coffee, the Magical Elixir, he outlines research he says points to good health via the cup, including lower risk of liver disease, type 2 diabetes, lower risk of several cancers, stroke, no surprise then in the overall theme. Coffee drinkers have lower markers of inflammation. Men and women who drink coffee have low total and cause specific mortality. So what is the best way to drink your coffee? The best way to drink coffee is to drink it with a friend. We do know without a doubt, coffee is linked to something that is sure to keep you feeling good. Conversation. Sometimes we have to raise our hand. <laughs> and social connection. Now we stay here over the coffee. Oh, yeah. For hours. Back at Lost Shoe, we met up with this group of women working on five decades of friendship and nine years of weekly coffee dates. The drinks are just um, yeah. a way to celebrate and enjoy each other. Here's to the people, ideas, art, and laughter that a cup of coffee consistently serves up. I will say there's nothing like waking up to a hot cup of coffee. All right, well, research suggests the best way to drink your coffee is straight up without all the fillers, including cream and sugar, for example, and to stay away from artificial sweeteners as well. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night, everyone. <laughs>